My experience at the CBA Executive Banking School has been a really rich and rewarding experience. Um, came in not really knowing what to expect, um, except that I really wanted to learn more about how all of the components of the bank would come together. We're learning a lot about duration. Uh, yesterday was interest rate risk. Um, this week we talked a lot about the three different hats, whether it's economic value or um, looking at gap principles. How do you manage the balance sheet? How do you use the capital markets to keep your liquidity and capital ratios adequate? What we're learning is how to run a bank, how to run a profitable bank, how to run a bank that can grow and meet the needs of our communities and, and kind of set the stage, I think, for the future. What are we looking for the future? What do we want to see? How do we move the industry forward? The way we view the program is it is a exactly as you would expect it. It's an executive education. It's a graduate school for good, polished people uh, who have demonstrated a degree of leadership that we think have high potential to be bigger leaders inside of our company. I think this is where bankers come to perfect their trade. We're going through major transformation in our industry. They come here to compare notes with their colleagues. They learn from industry leaders. Not only what I call the blocking and tackling of banking, but the future of banking as well. This school is an amazing opportunity for both the bank and the students to make a difference in our industry. Most of our students are sent here by their senior executives because they care about the future of their bank and they care about the future of where banking will be in the next 10 and 20 years. For us, we really have an opportunity to, to allow our best and brightest an opportunity to step outside of their day-to-day -day job and get an experience like this that provides both strategic and tactical um, learning for them. The students that we uh, send to the banker school, not only do they learn great technical skills, uh, but they also learn uh, a lot of interaction skills, how they present, uh, how they uh, interact, and it frankly translates into uh, how they interact with their customers. I think the value for our organization is we have a lot of really bright individuals that don't necessarily see the big picture of banking. You know, I think sometimes in our normal banking roles we get caught up in the activities that we have to perform, that we're just in our own little world. I think it'll, I'll be bringing back from, the, from this uh, class a better perspective on the overall um, how a bank is, is run um, and how I can fit in to the overall strategy of my bank and maybe where I can see things that might be able to make a difference um, going forward. We take them through their 10K, which is a textbook on their banks. We take them through the main performance drivers of what it is that makes their banks tick. We take them through the basic concepts of risk management and how you weigh the options when you look at opportunities for success. The simulations that are available uh, through the CBA Executive Banking School are unmatched in the industry. It's as real life as you could possibly create without actually running the bank. I mean, you're looking at, you know, you're, if, are you building branches? Are you closing branches? You're looking at your pricing. You're looking to make sure that your, you know, your return on your assets are where you want it. Are you, are you bringing in new customers? I mean, just like we do in our traditional world of what we do every day in our branches. It's been nice to see the, you know, the different segments over the years, starting with the retail focus and then the CFO, where you're really getting into the numbers, and then the more of a CEO view. So it's been nice to kind of see it ratchet up and all come together at the end. Our students are required to do a project at the end of their second year. And many of the projects that have been done by our students have in fact been able to impact uh, product changes, the, uh, some new services that we've delivered. And so there's been a very tangible benefit that's come back to our, our clients as well as the benefit to the students themselves. I think that the CBA program is really one of the very best in the industry. It has a terrific reputation. I've seen with my own eyes how terrific the program is and what the students get out of it. Um, I think it's one of the best. I think the school is critical to the future of banking. I really, I really believe that there is no other program available today that does such a thorough, holistic job of preparing somebody for that 
next senior level position. It opens the door. I mean, it's, it's the place to start. So you, you get to learn these things and understand these things, and that way when opportunities open in the bank in different positions, you're, you're able, you're, you're prepared. Uh, this helps me to have a better sense of where the numbers are coming from and taking a couple steps backwards so before you begin to execute, what direction will you march in? It's awesome! <laughs> Everybody wins. The executive back at the bank wins, the colleagues at the bank, and also consumers. It's a win-win for everyone.